every night, fucks every day up. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you aren't new here, hey, what's up? My name's Danny, and as you guys can tell from the title, this is going to be my What I Got For Christmas video for 2018. So I've been making videos for about five years now, which is crazy. I have literally grown up on this platform, and every single year, I always do one of these videos. And quite honestly, this year was going to be the first year that I didn't make one. I don't know why, I just wasn't really in the mood to film it. I just, not that I didn't already know this, but I think this year really solidified for me that there are so many other things that go into living a happy life than material objects, but I know how much I look forward to watching these videos every Christmas, and I can imagine that you guys feel the same way. So I want to give the people what they want and show you guys what I got for Christmas this year. And I know it probably goes without saying, but I am so incredibly appreciative for everything that I receive for Christmas, as well as everything in my life. I'm just a very lucky girl, and I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for everything. So yes. With all that being said, let's just get into the video. Subscribe if you have not done so already, and let's do this thing. So I'm just gonna start by running through all the things that were in my stocking this year. The first of which was a new shower cap. This was very necessary, and I mean, it seems okay, sure. And then the second thing is a notebook. And this is actually really cute because if you guys did not know, for whatever reason, maybe you're new here, I'm actually going to be studying abroad next semester. I actually leave a week from this Sunday, which is crazy. I can't even believe that. What? It feels so surreal. I don't even know, but my mom got me this so I can kind of write down all my thoughts and on the front it says, with brave wings, she flies. So I thought it was kind of appropriate and it's really cute. And lastly, I got a new 64 gigabyte SD card and a $25 Amazon gift card. Now we can kind of jump into the, what's that saying? The meat and potatoes? I never really say that. All my friends always make fun of me for using like dad sayings and I feel like that's definitely one of them. So now we're going to jump into, I guess, the meat and potatoes of Christmas this year. I got a few makeup products that I'm so incredibly grateful for. The first of which is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I live and die, breathe, live and breathe. I live and breathe by this thing. It is hands down the best makeup setting spray I have ever used. And then I got the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I definitely needed a refill of this before I leave for abroad. It is my favorite concealer ever and I just wiped mine clean. So definitely needed a refill of this. I also got a few techie items so the first of which was the mophi external battery charger i needed this thing so badly because my phone is always dying on me and no one wants a dead phone in the middle of spain that's a fact and then i got this holder for all of my sd cards as of right now i am collecting quite a few sd cards i feel like you can never have enough especially when i'm going to be traveling so much so definitely needed an efficient way to carry all of those things because right now i'm using a plastic bag which is not efficient by any means. I also got a water bottle, which is really cool. I feel like this is never something that I would have asked for for Christmas in the past, but this one got me really excited because this is a Brita water bottle. It has a built-in filter inside, so all of my water will always be filtered, and it just it has 22 ounces of water. That's crazy. I also got some fun clothing items for Christmas, the first of which, and my personal favorite, is this freaking jacket from Revolve. I'm obsessed with it. This is the Star Vegan leather jacket. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. I'll link to all these things down below if you guys do have any post-Christmas money and want to spend it on any of these things, I would 10 out of 10 recommend. This jacket is beautiful. I'm obsessed with it, and it's just so different. I feel like it's gonna add such a nice statement piece to any outfit, and actually, I'm just gonna jump right into these because I feel like it's a nice little segue. I got the coolest pair of shoes ever, and I just had this image of me wearing these shoes with that jacket, with like an all black outfit, and it's gonna look dope. So, I got these shoes from Vince Camuto. Like, what? Come on. I have never in my life owned a pair of shoes this cool. They have like a pointy toe in the front. They're so comfortable. They're bright red. There's literally nothing wrong with them. All right, now that I guess we're on the topic of shoes, I also got another pair of shoes. These are my white platform Supergas. I've already worn them once and I'm in love with them. This is what they look like. I feel like they're really cool. They kind of... I feel like, because I always wear my white slip-on Vans, these are kind of a step up from those because they look a little bit fancier with the laces and they have this nice little platform, so it gives me a little boost of height. I love these shoes so much. They're also crazy comfortable, which was definitely not what I was expecting. I feel like with, 
I don't know, sneakers like that, sometimes they take a little bit of time to break in, but those did not. They are so incredibly comfortable, and I already know that I'm going to be wearing them all the time. Back to clothing, I got a little excited with my shoes, so I strayed a little off topic, but I also got this scarf from Madewell. This was actually for one of my family friends, Maria, so Maria. Thank you, I really love it. This is from Madewell, and it's really cool. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to tell, but it's basically a map of New York on the scarf, which is just so amazing. I definitely won't be able to show you, but you guys can see that there's like a little yellow taxi. Over here it says Manhattan, and then the Bronx, Harlem, all these things. It's so cool, and I'm definitely going to be taking this broad with me, and anytime I get homesick, I feel like this is a really cute little item to keep with me. I think, I might be forgetting some things, I think I definitely am forgetting some things, but the last thing that I'm going to be showing you guys that I got for Christmas this year is my new luggage set. And I'm not going to be physically showing you because they are heavy and they are large and I just don't feel like attempting to use any little bit of upper body strength that I have to show you, but I got a beautiful luggage set from CalPAC. They are just all black really sleek, really simple, and they're perfect. I figure what better time to get a new luggage set than right before I go abroad. And one, the biggest suitcase is freaking massive. I'll insert a picture that I took on Christmas day right here. I can literally fit inside the suitcase, so that just proves how large it is. So if any small human wants to come with me to Spain, you are more than welcomed. And I'm just so appreciative for this because I know that they can be a little bit on the pricier side, but they are definitely going to be getting some amazing use. And I'm going abroad. That's crazy. <laughs> Actually, the last thing that I'm going to be showing you guys are these new luggage packing cubes that I got also from CalPAC. They match perfectly with my luggage. Also just plain black, really simple, and it's going to make packing so much easier. All right, people, that is going to be it for my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please make sure to let me know in a comment down below. Let me know what you guys got for Christmas, or how you spent your Christmas, or if you don't even celebrate Christmas, let me know how you spent your Tuesday. With 2019 right around the corner, I am starting to plan all of my future content and like I've mentioned a thousand times, Danny, we get it, you're going abroad. I'm going to be living in Spain the entire first half of 2019 and I would love to know what kind of content you guys want to see from all of my travels, whether it be day in my life or I don't even know. I, I really don't know. So let me know all of your thoughts down below in the comments. We can have a little conversation. It could be kind of cute. And until next time, I love you guys so, 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 so much. I'm so appreciative for you guys every single day. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.